going to present an 87 year old man found to have either a sacular aneurysm or a penetrating ulcer of the inferior aorta, uh, depending on your viewpoint. Uh, this was found during a workup for diagnosis of prostate cancer. Uh, he was scheduled for radiation therapy and the question for us was whether or not this should be treated prior to embarking as radiation therapy. Again, what you can see is us working the CAT scan. This is actually being used in the control room. Uh, the, we strongly believe that um, a good quality CT scan preoperatively will allow us uh, to actually plan the entire operation. And you'll see us actually start putting uh, the uh, fusion together and mark the landing zones, uh, which we'll use based upon uh, those fusion marks. So all this is done before we go to the operating room. Here we did do an angiogram, uh, but we chose that angle really based upon the CT scan. And this is more or less an, an uh, AP view. And you can see this outpouching in the left side of his aorta. A uh, stiff wire was placed up into the descending thoracic aorta. And there's a 14 French gauche sheath has been placed uh, through the right iliac system. Uh, we only had unilateral access. Uh, we did not access the uh, contralateral side. So once the sheath was up into position, uh, the dilator was removed. Uh, we had previously measured this. The, the, the order measured about 16 millimeters in diameter, um, and the length of that circular um, outpouching was approximately one and a half to two centimeters of the left side of the aortic wall. Uh, for this reason, we um, plan to uh, cover this simply using a uh, gore extension cuff. And here you can see the uh, cuff is really being brought up into position. Um, you can see the fusion marks, uh, they're not very clearly visible here, uh, but it marks the proximal and distal end of uh, where the, um, the aneurysm is. And we got it, we're going to basically straddle this with this uh, gore cuff. The gore cuff in this situation is um, four centimeters uh, long. Um, and we chose a 28 millimeter diameter. Here you see the cuff has been put into position. Uh, we have confirmed uh, the actual location of the uh, ulcer. And at that point in time, uh, this was the looking back at the previous angiogram. Uh, we had uh, again basically overlaid this. And once we'd actually had this gore cuff in position, then we uh, deployed the cuff. Uh, the cuff is deployed, basically we're pulling a deployment handle. You can see it here. We'll go back and uh, revisit that basically in one minute. And you can, uh, in this particular situation, see where the cuff has been positioned. This is how we actually deploy it. Uh, very like all the other devices, you rotate the handle to the left, basically pull it to deploy it. Here it's been handle, it's been deployed. Uh, we then brought in a balloon and uh, we use the, the balloon to, after the delivery system is removed, we use the balloon to uh, seal up both the proximal distal end and then as we straddled uh, the, uh, where the origin of the aneurysm is, you'll actually see the graft pouches out into the, uh, the aneurysm orifice itself. So again, balloon being brought up, dilating, proximal and distal end and then the center ratio of the, of the device. Uh, once we're happy with this, the balloon is removed. The pigtail catheter basically was put back in place. And we then shot a completion of teratogram. Prior to doing this, of course, we'd paste, placed two proglides um, in the right femoral artery. Plan was, of course, to do this all percutaneously. Bloom was then removed. There was a lot of the deformity at the proximal end of the coffin, so that's the reason we went back in and um, redilated this. It deployed just a little eccentrically. Once we've done this, the balloon's removed through the sheath. Pigtail catheter was reinserted. And a completion angiogram showed that it bulges a little bit into the aneurysm, but the aneurysm itself is completely sealed. We then removed all the devices, reversed the anticoagulation, and closed the groin using the previously placed proglides. Thank you.